Hello everyone, this is 4 quadrant chopper kit. Today we are going to study about the operation of 4 quadrant chopper and the apparatus of this experiment are 4 quadrant IGBT based chopper circuit with control unit where we have the power circuit in this and control circuit over here and the other uh, equipment is resistive load which is at 50 ohms and the another is regulated DC linear power supply and also the digital oscilloscope where we can observe the waveforms. Now what is meant by chopper? Basically a chopper is a static device used to obtain the variable DC voltage from a source of from the constant DC voltage. Now variable DC voltage is required for many applications like trolley buses, battery operated vehicles or in DC traction motors. These applications require variable speed obtained by applying, applying variable voltage to the armature of the DC motor. Now uh, the procedure of this 4 quadrant chopper experiment is firstly make the connections as shown in the circuit diagram. Now con connect the control output signals to the respective gate terminals of the IGBT power circuit and switch on the main supply to the controller unit. Now, uh, keep, now here keep the forward direction. Uh, now, now by selecting the forward mode uh, increase, by fixing the frequency 50 and change the pulse uh, duty cycle from 20 to uh, in, in steps of 10 increase from 20 till 50 and note down the value of mean value in the digital oscilloscope as this is a DC we can uh, note down the value of mean over here so for the 20, 20 uh, duty cycle we need we need to get the output voltage of 2 but we are getting the mean value as 1.37 the because there is a voltage because there is a resistive drop over here till now we have seen the forward motoring which is observed in the first quadrant now we are moving to the third quadrant where we can observe the reverse motoring so for that uh, decrease uh, change down the uh, duty cycle to zero, 0 and uh, select the reverse button over here and start the now in the reverse direction and in the third quadrant operation of the chopper we have to increase the duty cycle from 10% to 20% and observe the output waveforms in the CRO which will be seen in the reverse direction. We have the mean value of minus 1.05 since we in the third quadrant operation the voltage and current will be in the negative values. That's why we get here at the negative value. So for a duty cycle of 30% we have the mean value of minus 2.65 volts. Therefore by gradually increasing, increasing the duty cycle from 20% to 50% observe the output voltage waveforms in the CRO. And after the completion of experiment, switch off the power supply and plot the load voltage waveforms.